Hi, this is Steven Silver, and I just wanted to share with you an important part of what artists, I feel, are all going through. We are all go through our lives a phase of wondering um, what we're doing, if it's the right choice, no matter what sort of creative field you're in, um, whether you're a writer, whether you're a actor, whether you're a musician, whatever it may be, it's a struggle because we have a lot of self-doubts, especially as we're trying to find out what our career is going to be, what direction we want to take, if what direction is the best direction for us to take. But what I've found is one of the things that is the most detrimental aspects of being a creative, and this is where you need to train your mind, and it's not going to be easy, but this is what needs to be done, is to stop comparing yourself to what other artists are doing. I think this is the one thing that destroys the artist in many ways. This puts them into their deep, dark place, wherever they may be, because they look at other people around them. Other people have the jobs they want. They're succeeding at doing something where they're not, and they're getting an offer, and you're not getting an offer, or you have this job, this job, and this job. Why don't I have that job? And this constant comparison, when you start to look at all these other people and go, I want to be like that, but that yeah, this is what you have to let go of. And I think this is the mo the biggest ingredient. If you can learn to let go of what other people are doing and stop comparing yourself to what other people are doing, you will create a freedom within yourself to actively do what it is that you love and that what you want to do and you'll make it your own and you'll do it your way. Um, the philosopher said uh, one time, his name was Wallace Waddle, said, don't be competitive, be creative. And this holds true in the fact where, you know, don't be competitive in the way of comparing yourself more so. I mean, you're going to be competitive in many different areas. I, I believe in uh, competition as far as being for yourself, just, just to grow, um, just to whether you could be running a race or something else. You know, it's just something fun. You know, if you're doing it in a fun manner. Um, but don't do anything that's going to harm yourself in any way. And And part of the harm comes from you just constantly having that mindset that I, I've got to be this person or, or you look on Facebook and you see that this person is doing this and this person is doing that. Why isn't it me? Why not me? Why not me? Boom, boom, boom. You get lower and lower, deeper, 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 darker, darker, darker within your own self. So if you can train your mind to start just actively doing what it is that you do and just, it's like just letting go, just putting these other things, other people, whatever it is in a bubble and let that bubble just float away and get away from you and you create your own world and your own path and you're going to have a lot more um, success that way. You truly will and you're going to fulfill a lot more things. I just wanted to share some things with you too um, by a guy named Dale Carnegie. Many of you have maybe heard of him, maybe not, you know, just a, a great sales guy. Uh, really, he's written many books um, from way back, long gone now. Um, but whenever you're in a situation, he wrote these things that I, I want to impart to you and share with you because it really helps no matter what situation you're in right now, okay? So the first thing that you want to identify is what am I worrying about, okay? So this is the first thing to identify. What am I worrying about? What is it that's on my mind that is just getting me so nervous, so upset, so whatever, okay? So you need to identify that. The next thing you need to say is, what can I do about it? So you need to answer that question. The question after that is, here is what I'm going to do. And then you start to list what it is you're going to do. And the next thing to do, the fourth thing is, when am I going to start doing it? So all of a sudden, you define the problem, and now you start moving into the area to eventually get rid of that problem. And I think if you list these four things down, and you truly answer these problems, you'll often find that they're not as bad as you think they are. Otherwise, there is a resolve. This way, you won't be down in that place where we want to get out of. Um, the big thing is to be specific. The next thing is, um, what is the problem? Um, what is the cause of the problem? Um, what are all the possible solutions? And what solution do you suggest? So by trying to answer these questions too, whether it's a problem, otherwise what it is you're worrying about, 
These are the things that you face on a day-to-day -day basis that will put you in that deep, dark place of just wondering, worrying, trying to find out what it is, what's, a, what's supposed to happen in your life. And doing this is a way just to break out of this um, instead of letting it all roam in your head. I have always been a firm believer to not let all this stuff just mix around in your head. You've got to clear your mind. In order to get creative, in order to make things happen, you need to get all that muddled information that's going wah, 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 and you need to take that and you need to get it out of your head. You need to open up that space within your mind and then from there, just put it all down on paper. Let the paper but figure out the solution for what it is you really want. And you're going to find some great answers that way. So that's my tip. That's what I suggest in order to free yourself um, and expand your horizons. Get creative. Enjoy what you do. Love what you do. And do it for you. And don't worry what anyone else thinks. Because if you care what anyone else thinks, you're never going to get anywhere anyway. Just do what you do.